Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to prepare the land use land cover map using the cart and SVM method. Okay, last time we have seen how we can able to prepare the land use land cover map using the random forest method. Okay, so here if you'll see the last time we have seen the random forest and the video is also uploaded on the YouTube channel. If you'll visit Vikas Gadamude, you will see the video about the land use land cover classification using the random forest. So if you miss this video, I'm recommended you please watch this video first and then you can able to get the concept between the different algorithms to use this. So the methodology will be the same, just the algorithm will be changed here. Okay. So here we can able to use the cart. Okay then also we can able to use the svm algorithm so different different machine learning algorithms we can able to use on the basis of that we will get the different different accuracy assessment so let we'll understand this first so first thing is that okay so let i will open the new one okay so here the first thing is that we need to add our Landsat imagery. Okay, what are the imagery we are working? So, I will copy this here. Okay. And then we need to add our region of interest for which area I am working. Okay. So, you can able to go to that location and you can able to create your study area here. Okay. What are the area you are working? You just need to take a rectangle okay and you can able to draw the rectangle like this so you can get your region of interest so you can provide roi okay region of interest or else you can add your shape file from here okay what are the area you're working like i will remove from here and i can able to add there are multiple shape files are there like i will add this and I can able to provide this ROI and I can able to click on the run option. Okay. So this ROI will come here. Okay. So this way also you can able to add if you are having your shape files. So after the adding the shape file, the second thing is that you require to add this image collections. Okay. So you can search here like Landsat 8 data set. Okay. Landsat. So you will get this image collections. If you click here, then you can able to get this image collection Landsat. Okay. So the detail is given here about the top of the atmospheric correction TOA. Okay, top of the atmospheric corrections. And if you'll see here the all the detail it is given. So you can able to read the information. And if you want to import it, you can click on the import. So this will import here. Okay. So or else you can able to add here that is a land land satellite composite image collections. Then this same we have get from there. And after that, I want to filter it a particular date. Okay. So like I'm working with the 2023 year, I'm interested to prepare for 2023 year. So I'll select here the 2023. So in one month image I want, and then I want to filter it to my region of interest. So this is my ROI. So what are the images will be there? Landsat there is having a revisit time. Okay. On the basis of revisit time, you will get the data set and in that I want to just filter with my study area. What are the tiles are available with my study area? You show me that. And then you show cloud cover with less than 5%. So what are the image will be there in that I want less than 5% cloud cover and I want to create a band combination of it. And after creating a band combination, I'm interested to clip with my region of interest. Like if I'll open here, you will see this is the my band combination. Okay. Let me uncheck this. So click here and you can able to see the 543. Then click on the 
stretch type click apply so you'll see the band combination image here okay so we have added the visualization parameter for that so like 543 if you'll right click then you will see the 543 you can able to change the band combination like you want to see some different band combination then seven six and two and apply then you will see the dark green color showing the dense forest area okay here so this way you can able to change the band combination and you can able to interpret the things here so after that uh let we will copy this here okay visualization parameter and we can paste here so up to here we have seen how to add the data set and how to select the visualization parameters okay so here we are selecting the combination of band and this minimum maximum and gamma value we have added and this is the landsat 8 band combination and visualization parameter we have added after that we need to provide training samples okay we need to provide training samples to this so how to provide training samples in the last video i have already explained how to provide training samples so let i will run here okay so i will uncheck this and i will select the stretch type apply again i will click apply so you'll able to see the image here and in that you need to add a training samples here okay like i have added all the training samples water body built up vegetation agriculture land and barren land so if i'll go to combination again for you four three apply and these are the training samples i have created here okay so here you can able to see the blue color is for water body so there is a water body we have selected the water training samples then built up area is there so these are the built up area training samples are there okay let i will uncheck this then this built up area training samples are there then vegetations are there these are the vegetations so how to add these training samples so for that you can able to go to here okay take this add marker then you will geometry option will come here you go to click here edit layer properties and here like you want to add water bodies so select don't give space provide water bodies and feature collections click on the geometry click on the feature collections properties like add here class zero i will take and i'm interested for a water body i will just take water body color click ok so now wherever there is a water body you just click there okay so like that you can able to click on the water bodies wherever you'll able to see the water bodies after adding the water bodies you can able to add other properties okay like you again click new add layer or new layer then this time i will provide a built up so you can increase the more training samples i am just showing here the examples so here i need to add class 1 okay so these are the built up areas if you are feeling problem while interpreting you can take the satellite imagery in the background and you can uncheck it and zoom it then you will see the built up area here okay then again you can able to take the imagery and you can add the training samples here so this way very easily you can able to take the training samples then I'm just you can there are multiple training samples you need to take if your area is large then large training samples you need to take okay then you can able to add another training samples like these are for the 
crop plants okay so if i'll uncheck it you can able to take the two training samples here one is for the crop land another is for the follow land okay so here you can able to see the follow land as well here so the dark red area we are able to see the dark red area this area is having some uh, crop land there right now and these are the area where there is a no crop land so we, you can consider as a follow land that classes you can able to take after that there is a vegetation so you can able to take then barren land you can able to take so if you'll go to this locations you will see the barren land area you can take the training samples for the barren land area so there are multiple training samples or uh, multiple classes you can able to create also you can able to provide rural area different than urban area different if you want to provide the net classes industrial area if you want to market different you can provide a different way so there are multiple classes you can able to create here and after creating a multiple classes like we have created here five classes after creating a five classes you need to provide the training uh, what are the training point we have provided for that we are marking the buffer of 30 meter why we are creating a 30 meter buffer because our image is landsat is 30 meter pixel if you'll see this one pixel is 30 meter resolution so for that we are taking the buffer for 30 meter here so after taking the buffer we are providing the uh, we have provided the class here okay class 0 1 2 3 4 and we are using the bands here okay there are total 11 bands we have added here if you'll check it then you will see the 11 bands are added there band 10 band 11 okay and after that so here we are creating a sample region to create a training samples okay so what are the training samples we will provide it will extract the pixel value from here okay so what we are doing we are why we are providing a training samples because it's, it can able to take the training samples and it can able to take the pixel value at that location so what are the pixel value here for the what yellow color we have provided we have provided for agriculture so wherever there is the same pixel value will be there it will assign a agriculture land okay like here this green color we have given here for the forest area and this all these contain some pixel value okay so this all contains some pixel value if you we'll, if you'll we'll see here mostly this all pixel having some pixel value okay so so wherever you will get the same pixel value it will provide as a that class okay suppose this is for vegetation and pixel value is something so wherever you will get the same pixel value it will take that pixel value okay so for that we have provided this sample region so it will extract the pixel value and our special resolution is 30 meter creating a training and testing data set so here we are creating a training and testing data set for the validation as well then here the most important thing is that the, you can able to change the algorithms okay so like here cart i have used here okay cart cart so here i can able to change the uh, classification with crt cart okay then here if you'll check this and this okay if you'll go with the svm all the thing is same i am showing you two different classification one is for crt cart and another is a support vector machine okay this is for the svm if you'll go this region the thing is same sample region let come downside so here i will provide the svm and here i have selected the svm classification the train then train set then class properties label and this is the bands okay so same thing is there if you'll go to search about the if you want to read the detail about this you can go to google and search what is a cart okay classification and regression trees so this decision tree learning is a supervised learning approach using statistic okay data mining and machine learning so you can able to read the more detail about this and also you can able to check the svm okay
that is a support vector machine classification so here also in machine learning support vector machines are the supervised max margin model with associated learning algorithm that analyze data for classification and regression analysis so these methods we are using here svm and cart so the other thing will be as it is what are the algorithm you use that you can able to change but you can keep other thing as it is and after that here is the it is creating a confusion matrix okay here also in the cart also it is creating a confusion matrix here so once it is create a confusion matrix then we'll get the kappa validation as well here we'll get the kappa coefficient and then after getting the kappa coefficient we want to run the algorithm for the whole image okay and there you'll able to see the color blue red green yellow so we have given five classes so five color i have provided here and then i need to export this to the drive okay so i'm interested to export this drive so once you will write this also same things are here you can able to click on the you can able to export this into drive so once you'll click on the run you will get this result okay this is the llc result you will get and in that you can able to see the results as well okay so what are the classification we have used for that you are getting this result again the same region i did the classification with the cart method svm and random forest so let i'll open this so this is for the cart method and once you'll go here you can able to validate the things here so like you can take the satellite image in background so blue color indicating the here as a built up area so built up to built up it is matching okay after that here if you'll see this is this is showing red color you can able to change the color as well no problem then these are the agricultural land so where we have provided the yellow colors so you are getting agriculture to agriculture here okay so this way very easily we can able to do the classification using the different methods so if you'll go to doc in the classification you will see the different different classification okay like here we have used this svm lib svm then there is a cart we have used then random forest is there okay so these are different different algorithms are there minimum distance so after preparing the map with the different algorithms you can able to get the accuracy as well here okay so you can able to see i'm getting 93 percent accuracy with the cart method okay so this then again if we'll go with the svm then i'm getting 83 percent overall accuracy in kappa is 72 i'm getting with the same training samples when i will check the random forest then you will see i'm getting 94 percent so you can able to get the different accuracy with the different algorithms so what are the classification you have provided training samples you have provided on the basis of that you can able to try to run the different algorithms you'll get the different different accuracy as well so it is very easy to prepare all these things if you require any help with all these things you can ask me in the comment sections or if you require any help with your project details are given in the description box you can contact us so if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you